guys, these are the ingredients that you'll need for this delicious, easy to make chicken and broccoli recipe. Welcome back to Misha's Corner. You already know the tea. Y'all know who I am. I ain't got to tell y'all who I am every time, okay? Y'all know I like getting to the point. But you can use whatever brand you want of these ingredients, but that's what I have. So first, I'm going to start by prepping everything. So I have boiling water here. I'm going to add my broccoli. Now, y'all know whenever I cook broccoli on this channel, I say if you cook your broccoli for more than 90 seconds, don't come over here no more. If you cook it for more than 90 seconds, don't come back over here. Okay. Um, now, but for real, you can cook it however long you want or prefer your broccoli. But remember, it's going to cook again. So you don't want it to be mushy and just like mush when you put it with your chicken and all those vegetables. And this is why I only cook it for 90 seconds. Once that's done, I remove the broccoli and add it to my ice, ice bath to stop the cooking process. And you know, about two to three minutes, you can remove it, pat dry them and put them to the side. That's it, stop the cooking process, keep it nice and bright green and you're good to go. Once that's done, I'm now I'm gonna season the chicken. I'm gonna use just a basic all-purpose seasoning on the chicken, but remember you guys, don't over-salt and over-season the chicken. We're making a strong sauce that's gonna be tossed with everything and you don't want it to be overpowering. But, you know, it's your chicken. But uh, I kept it simple. You can even use just salt and pepper if you prefer, but simple and it was just good to go. that's done now i'm going to stir the chicken so i'm using sesame oil and of course your girl gonna put some butter down in here because what's not better without butter okay um so i mix the sesame oil with some butter or you could just use the straight up sesame oil but listen y'all know your girl love a lot of flavor and i had to keep it cute with the butter okay so i had some butter child but now i'm gonna add the chicken and what you want to do is try to get all pieces of your chicken on the surface of the pan so you could get some charring and some color on your chicken. Um, somebody's probably gonna ask me why didn't I coat the chicken? I just feel like I don't need to do all that. And my recipes are all about um, being fast, quick, easy, delicious, fresh. And I just straight up cook the chicken naked, bald, okay? <laughs> Pause, no point intended, but you know, I don't put any cornstarch on it. I don't put any flour on it. None of that. Straight up into the pan. We good to go. We're moving on. All right. While that's in the pan doing this thing, let's make the swiss. So right here, I have some soy swiss. Now, y'all, this is how I measure. Okay. But remember, all ingredient measurements will be in my description box. <laughs> So make sure you check that out as well as if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and, you know, be a part of the Misha's Corner show. So I added some rice wine vinegar, some sriracha, some oyster sauce. Y'all, you remember how the other day, all the time I tell y'all, y'all, I can't have oyster sauce. I'm allergic. I'm allergic. So I use hoisin. Da, 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 da. Y'all, come to find out your girl ain't allergic to no oyster sauce, honey. I am not allergic to oyster sauce. And I was like, what? Oh, girl. But anyway, we're going to talk about that on live. We're going to get into that tea on another day because, honey. So anyway, I added some hoisin, some sugar. I'm also going to add some cornstarch. You know, we have to thicken that up. And then I'm just going to mix this up. and Oh, and a little water. And then you're going to mix this up. The water should be equal parts to the flour, I mean, to the cornstarch, and it'll be perfect. And I'm just going to mix this up. And this is the sauce. Quick, easy, simple. I've been making this for like two weeks straight. If you follow me on social media, you'll see it. So I didn't need to measure it, but I do have the correct measurements, and I'll make sure they're below. But this sauce is so good, and you can pour it on anything. All right, so this is what the chicken looks like. I did get a little brown on the chicken. It's nice and caramelized. This is what I like about the wok because you could put the chicken any part of the wok and it's going to be nice and toasty and good to go. So I'm just going to start flipping my chicken over and cooking it the same amount of time on the other side. And this is how it looks, you guys. Nice and perfect and ready to go. Obviously, it doesn't matter if it's cooked all the way through because it is going to cook again. Once I removed that from the pan, I added my veggies. So I have peppers, carrots, shallots. Uh, if you want to use onions, that's fine. I have garlic, I have ginger, 
And when, first of all, when this hit the skillet, it just smelled so good. It was ridiculous. After I cooked that down for five minutes, I added the chicken back to the pan. I'm gonna mix all of that together, get them nice and married together. And hey girl, what's going on? How you doing? Yeah, uh-huh. We about to get this sauce, honey. Okay, she about to pour some sauce. <laughs> but once I get it nice and mixed up like I'm doing here, I do it like this just so I won't overmix. You know, you don't wanna overmix. So I mix it this way first and then I add the sauce down in there. Look at the sauce, you guys. Look at the sauce. Let me say sauce right before they try coming from each other because y'all love dragging me on here on these people. And then, but yeah, you want to add the sauce and you want to mix everything up. And then you're going to add the broccoli right down in here. I love how I added so many veggies veggies this time. When I made it last week, I didn't have this many veggies in there. I decided to add more this time. I think on another day, I'm probably going to do an all veggie one too. It's so good. Like it's really, really good. I, even now, I wish I added even more veggies. Like it's so good against that chicken so anyway once you add your broccoli down in there you want to quick toss everything around get it nice and coated as you can see it's coating the broccoli nicely you guys make sure your heat is up because this is what happened on my last shrimp and broccoli video as well you guys are like oh mine is so watery your heat is too low my stove has been on medium high this entire time you need to turn your stove up from beginning to end do not have this on low that's the issue. Your stove is too low. Because look at my swiss. It ain't watery. I didn't do any tricks. There's no cuts in this scene. <laughs> you see me add the broccoli and it's not watery. So you guys need to turn your heat up. Don't be, you know, turn it up. And it'll be perfect just like this. So once you get everything nice and tossed together, I'm going to plate it up and let you guys see what it looks like. <music> There's no better way to serve this up than with white rice. And to be honest, if you added more veggies or even how I have it now, you don't even need the rice. But, you know, for presentation purposes, let's just take it all the way home. OK, so look at all those veggies with the juicy chicken, the caramelized chicken, the carrots, the peppers, the shallots, the swiss. The sauce is still thick. I did nothing different. <laughs> okay, you guys. So make sure you, you know, follow the directions, follow the ingredient list, and you'll be good to go. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you for your support. If you make this recipe, tag me on social media and let me know what you think. I almost forgot y'all because y'all always saying I don't give y'all nothing. Here y'all go. Here y'all go. <laughs> Here go your first bite. Y'all get a bite before me. It's a juicy piece of chicken, a piece of broccoli covered in sauce. I wish I had got a piece of uh, carrot on there too because the carrot takes this dish home. Do not leave that carrot out. Hopefully y'all ain't allergic, but don't leave the carrot out. It's so good. And some delicious buttery rice. Look how delicious this looks. But anyway, love you guys. Thank you for your support and I'll catch you on my next video. Bye.